life. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. James. Yes. This hair is getting hard to tame. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think? Wild hearts can't be broken. I ask you this every time. I, I just say, what's the end game? Uh, what's the end game for the hair? Uh, I'm gonna foof. I'm gonna I'm gonna say with a soft say here. A soft say. I'm gonna soft I'm say sure. it. I don't know if that's yeah, a thing, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna soft say it. And uh-huh. uh Probably go with. Uh, I'll st- I'll stick with it after the Fourth of July. That's it. Whoa! You seem like that wasn't enough time for you. I'm just kind of feeling like summer of Swayze. It's all summer long, the, yeah. Right, and the yeah. official start of summer is Friday. So oh, it is. you're not even really in summer yet. Great, so I can keep it. Look, you can do whatever you want. You just talked me into it for longer now. You can do whatever you want. I'm amped. No, I, I look. I love it. Um, I need to. Uh, I need to trim it up a little bit. It's getting long. It's mm-hmm. getting really. I can. I can fully, fully pull through a ponytail through the back of this snapback. Maybe we do that. <laughs> oh God! Should we do that. That's like people with smoke in cars before nine a.m. It's just trashy. With smoke in cars, like smoking. Smoking cigarettes in cars. Oh. Taking our child to summer camp this morning, you know, right? Uh, and r- relax. It's in town. We're not shipping them off for the summer or anything like that. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people do that too. Boarding school when they're older, yes, they um, can go on vacation little camps. Yeah, so they have these stuff. little camps in yeah. town that are no, like he's younger, five hours a day or whatever it is, right? Sure. So I'm driving him this morning, and it's I want to say seven fifty five, okay. and and the reason I'm going to get this specific is is because I think that number is important. Um, I saw a man with a Grateful Dead thing, like a, a sticker on the back, which I love the dead. That's fine. Sure. Um, but then like, you know, uh, stop the pollution, watch your carbon footprint, bumper Coexist. stickers, it, all of it. All of it was on the, on the back of this guy's uh-huh. car and he was smoking cigarettes at 7.55 a.m. Um, with the window oh, that's cracked. So gross. Well, it has to be cracked. What I mean, are you going to hot box? Here's the thing, though. It, it, you know, we were, we're in North Carolina in the summer, for Christ's sakes. It was probably 78 on that drive over, 80 maybe right. already. Right. At 7.55. It's about 90, 90 degrees today. So why, aren't, why isn't the whole fucking window down? Why are you doing that? Because you have just cracking air it. on. Ugh, gross. No need for it. No need for that I can, whatsoever. Like, taste that. Seven fifty-five a.m. Mm-hmm. Firing up a heater, nah. Affleck style. Where I was just like, "Yo, dude, dude, get it." You're worried about the carbon footprint, and then I watched him flick out the cigarette afterwards, and I was like, "Nice, you betcha, coexist." Nice, buddy. coexist. We all coexist in this world, and you're, you know, that just made me think of. Uh, I saw this thing on the Today Show another Dominican type thing, but it yeah. was this like group of who are the parrot heads? Who's oh, the band? Uh, Jimmy that, Buffet. Jimmy Buffet. Yeah. Uh, French, French B- Jimmy Buffet fans yeah, yeah. all went down to the Dominican big group of them and they got, they were all describing, they went to each like hippie couple describing the amount of, amount of time and the violence of their diarrhea on the Today Show. Oh, and just the way, because they're just so whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheeseburger in paradise. The way that they talk about things. Where did they go? They went to the Dominican. So it's the same kind of, so they're lumping it in with these like respiratory deaths. Oof. Diarrhea they, in the Dominican. Right. Different. That's two different worlds, man. I, you three, expect it. For three weeks, they said. Afterwards? Like, yeah. Or were they in Violently, the Dominican re- Republic? No. For, oh. No. Violently diarrhea and yeah. they said diarrhea right? yeah, yeah specifically no not puking not whatever just diarrhea 
I'm, I'm going to be real with you, James. There's a lot of people out there who are looking for a diet like that right now. Oh, one you guy know? lost 10 pounds. I go, uh, get off, get off the screen. Like, yeah. what's the problem? You're probably good. You probably we're wouldn't have done that. Lumpi- in yeah. Yeah. We're not lumping that in to the, to the respiratory death. Oof, you know Jimmy what I mean? Jimmy Buffet in the DR. That is a tough one for me, man. Eesh. That is, you know, Eesh. I'd probably kick it down to oof, maybe Miami. That's about as far South as I'd go. Right. For Jimmy Buffett. So the U.S. You'd stay in the U.S. Yeah. 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 I think that's pretty much rule of thumb these days. Dominican. Cheeseburger. In bed. <laughs> Gosh. Just blowing But, you know, dressed up for the bowels. Today Show, right? Dressed up. Yeah. The couples, like it's a serious interview. Yep. And all they're talking about. Blowing is how much their bowels. Diarrhea they had. Yeah. And that was 7.55 a.m. as well. And I want to be specific about that time, too. Oof. Because that's an interesting time to just be hammering that home yeah. in the morning. Yeah. Good morning. Shitting through a spaghetti strainer. Just, you know, <laughs> sifting through it. Hoping there's something there. I was in my bed yeah. or I was in the, on the toilet. And that was it, one and of the guys said. Yeah. And that was it. Looks to his wife. Am I right? Uh. Yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, I probably mm. laid out on two different beds. And Jimmy Buffet fans anyways, right? Yeah. Interesting bunch. Yeah. I, look, I, I told the story on the show where uh, a grown woman in her late 30s, early 40s made out with me at a Jimmy Buffet concert. And I was like, you know, 13 or 14. She grabbed me. And then, I, and then she gave me a Bartles and James uh, wine cooler. One of yeah. those margarita flavored ones. Nice. So Nice. I don't want to say that uh, Jimmy Buffet isn't fun, but it is fun. You ever been? Oh. To, you, you ever seen Buffet live? No. No. <laughs> no. I think I went. I had to go with my dad because he was emceeing the concert. Oh, okay. So I didn't. It wasn't by choice, by the way. Right. It was just, whoever he had to emcee. Whoever came into town, we had to, we did go see, and then right. you know. So you win some, you lose some. Uh, yeah, it was Jimmy Buffet. I will say this: it was a party, though. People were raging. Oh yeah. So like for that aspect, I wouldn't turn it down. Yeah, the rage aspect. Yeah. Yeah, like I wouldn't. It's the um, same way and with just fish. The chill, chill aspect. Yeah, the, it's the same way with fish, right? Right. Just the rage aspect of like, all right, great. There's gonna be some great weed. Everybody's gonna be partying. Everybody's pretty chill. Where it's just like, all right, cool. Oh, totally. You're going to have fun yeah. whether you are into the music or not. you somebody's gonna give you some drug. At some point, you're going to be yeah. like, great. Yeah, I'll do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll do this. I'll give this a gozies. Right, right, right. I'll give it a gozies. Speaking of drugs, um, we did the CBD episode last week. Um, do you have CBD? Do you have, is there anything wrong with you? Are and you losing all your hair? Did your dog have alopecia? Yeah. Give him CBD. You should try CBD. Everybody sent in CBD, right? Right. Um, and... Oh, boy. This is going to be a hard one for me to admit. This is going to pain you. I mean, really down deep in my soul. So Defy, I loved. This works. It's uh, 20 milligrams in a bottle. And it's, it's, it, it, it's great. It's legit. But there was a company. And I look, I'm going to say this company live. And they're not a sponsor. Nothing to do with them whatsoever. Um, Super Seedwell uh, had these like. I guess you would call them uh, like desserts, like cookies and everything, low carb, no sugar. Yeah. Um, They tasted great, first of all. And I was shocked Um, because usually I hate all that shit. You love it. Um, And you were I know. I was like, you're going to hate it. And you're like, I was fully expecting to hate it. No, it was great. It was fantastic. So uh, good on them. Like, we're going to order a bunch more. But they had these CBD cookies. Right. 20 milligram cookies. Out of everything I've ever taken CBD wise, and it's been a lot because we're, we, we've actively been trying to get a CBD sponsor for not only this show, but drinking bros as well. And I haven't found the right thing where I was like, oh, this actually did something like uh, I felt probably the way I was supposed to defy and this supersede well, because defy is just a drink. So you can drink it. Boom. Get on your, you know, your day. Right. This was like a cookie where I had a, you know. Right around the eight o'clock range. Whoo, boss. For me, it actually, it didn't like mess me up, but it was the closest to having like an actual gummy that I 
with THC. Can take yeah, yeah, that's that's as close as I can go. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, what was I saying? You're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm just having all kinds. I'm having different kinds of cookies. Yeah. I'm having a different kind of cookie party. We had uh, black. Is it black mirror? Because I'm, I name it wrong here's, every time. I know. But here's how I tell you to do it. What do you think it is? I think it's Dark Mirror. And then it's always so the opposite. So what is it? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. then it's Black Mirror, right? So we were watching Black Mirror and that thing kicked in at the cookie right before we started. Because we only have like one more left. And I was like, whew, this is exactly where I need to be for this right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, You're and like, I, I need to fucking retract my state. That's exactly what I said. Yeah. And I go, dude, when we go on air uh, after the weekend's over, I'm going to say I'm sorry about yep. the CBD thing. One. Two, I'm going to shout out this company because... Somebody got it right. Yeah. Um, which is shocking to me that somebody actually got it right. Well, again, now I need to go back to the thing of like, does it really matter the kind of CBD that you get? Because I've had now, now I can actually I've, speak to this because I have had all the different kinds from like different stores around town. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I refuse to be like, I have to get it from this one company. You know what I mean? Yes. So I've tried a bunch of them, a bunch of different ones. That cookie was what I thought it was supposed to be. Okay. Do you know what I mean? So you've does also been it taking matter? a very, very low dosage. So was that yeah, part of it? Yeah, maybe that was part of it, but it should do something. So right? We, so sometimes it just doesn't do even anything. We did this show. A bunch of people sent in some CBD products. Uh, some of the with the gummy bears. Um, you know, one. Didn't really do anything, and that was supposed to have like 10 milligrams in it. I took two. Eh, it was okay. Um, I, again, I like the Defy um, a lot. I wish there was a little less sugars. That's, that's my only knock. Um, right. But I, I enjoy it sitting on my desk right now. Um, and there was a couple others where I was just like, eh, I kind of feel something, kind of really not. And mm. then this Super Seedwell came through, and I was like, Ooh. Buddy. Yeah. Here we go. And you Could, did do it two nights in a row, right? I did, yeah. And it was the same both times. Correct. Okay. So could I see myself doing that in the future? Yes. Could I would I recommend it over like a volume? Absolutely. Because that way you're not doing drugs, I guess. But I would I would say this after everybody sent them in. Only a couple of them worked for real. Oh, yeah. So and again, I, even, I don't really know where everybody else is getting this shit. It's unregulated for a lot of other people's stuff. And everybody says the same thing. Do you know where it's coming from? Do you I know. know. And now coming? I'm like. Mine's from the thing and the thing and right. the thing and the thing. And so it's that's like, why look, I'm saying, do I need to retract my statement of like, it doesn't matter where it comes from because I, th I think that the super seed well comes, they like, you know, they do like a local farm kind of situation. I liked it so much. That I did it a second night in a row. I can vouch for it. Um, they sent like th there was a couple more in here that uh, that D'Anthony left, and he prefer prefers you know mar marijuana's. And uh, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna I'm gonna try two more this week, and then I'll give you the final verdict next week. But uh, so far, so good. Yeah. Wow. So I have to retract the CBD statement because it's it was pretty rad. It was pretty rad. Um, it was Father's Day, James, over the weekend. Yes, it was. It was. And two people, two of uh, America's favorite fathers, joined Twitter for the first time ever. And one of them uh, is near and dear to our hearts, obviously, O.J. Simpson. Right. Um, who's still out looking for the real killers, which obviously is probably why he joined Twitter. Because he's probably getting info, right, on the Boots on the, real on the ground, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boots on the ground. He wants to be in with the people. He may be going deep undercover. I, look, I hope so. And I, I, I'm probably pretty sure he is, and that's, that's yeah. why he's using it. Nothing else, obviously. What right? was the getting even situation? So he posts his first video on Twitter. And God, man, to say cannot, it's a poor choice of words would, would be an understatement. Stop doing that. No, no. So it goes, hey, Twitter world. It's me, O.J. Simpson. And clearly it was pre-written, right? And he goes, just want to let you know, I just joined Twitter. And he's at the, the real O.J. 32, he says. And obviously O.J. Simpson must have been taken. And but it, you know, 32. 
Yeah, it's his number. It works. It was his number for the Bills. Yeah. It's fine. Um, but he goes, uh, and it seems super rehearsed. The last line, however, though, was what really got me, where he said, oh, the, cuff. the reason why I'm starting a Twitter and don't follow the other fake Twitter pages is because I got a little getting even to do. Yep. Um, here's the thing, oh, Juice. Just... You got even about 25 years ago. To the day, almost. He is just so creepy. It's crazy. He is such a fucking murderer. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Hi, he is the, someone that has gotten away with murder. That's the two, exact two murders, way. Two murders, yeah. Do you know what? Just murder in general. Yeah. Murder. Part of me is jealous. That's, you know, I want to get away with it, but. Right. Uh, the other thing that was that was crazy about it was on the same day, it was like, man, is there a worse person than O.J. Simpson out there <laughs> who could post something and ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. And who was it, folks? Bill Cosby. And how is he? Yes. He, how is he posting from jail? Jail. Is what I don't understand. Mm-hmm. So uh, what's happening? Someone else doing it for him? I guess. But he, you know, like it said, hey, hey, hey. He started off the tweet with, hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, no, no. Hope everybody no, out there is no, having no, a great no, Father's no. Day or whatever. It's like, bro, you were in jail forever. Like that, you're going like, to die in bro, there. Bro, you're going to die in there. What is yeah. Twitter for? I, I don't know. And why? If and, it is him, what the fuck? Well, it has to be because it's his account. It's, it's got to be approved by him. I'm wondering if it's his wife or his people or, you know, whatever. But either way. Yeah. No one wants to hear a, a happy Father's Day best wishes from Bill Cosby in prison. Yeah. Um, in general. Just, man. I, I, I was like, what world am I living in right now? This I mean, is crazy. OJ and Bill Cosby on the same day on Father's Day. Man, that's great. Is there anything creepier? Is there anything creepier? Is it weird that OJ looks great? No. Usually people go to prison and it, and it wrecks them. You know? It really ages them and you're like, man, they look, they look terrible. That was hard, hard living. OJ looks great. Yeah, but you get out. When he first got out, yeah. But, you know, you get out. You get back into the routine. You get back in the sunlight. You get back in yeah. normal food. It looks good. It looks like he's playing some golf and just enjoying his, his life. Nuts, isn't it? He's Is just there walking anything around. creepier than... OJ Simpson trying to act normal. There's nothing that makes me more uncomfortable than watching him try and not rage out. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. In interviews, old interviews, new it's it's you could see it. Yeah, it's crazy, right? It's uncomfortable. And that's when you're like, <laughs> I want to interview him. I'm like, I can't be there. That the tension of like you're about to rage out, but you're trying really hard not to. Yeah. It's too much for me. It's, I mean, it's unbelievable. It's, I'm, well, I'm, I'm. You have a hard time with it. Like, it really makes you, you, like, queasy. If you're watching the video show on YouTube right now, James, you have a tough time with OJ Simpson. I really do. Yeah. I don't think I'm alone. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't think I'm alone in that. I've moved past it, obviously. All right, it's just like, all right, cool. Uh-huh. I've accepted that he's going to be out in the world. And let's face it, the way he looks right now, he's going to live another 15 years. I know. This is going to go on forever. The and other the weird, Goldmans are just... Still devastated. They were, so they were on... Still interviewing. They were, still devastated. Well, it was the 25th anniversary, uh, what was it, Thursday or Friday yeah. of last week? And they were on. And I watched their interview. The, the dad and the sister was on. Mm-hmm. And first of all, I can't believe it's been 25 years. Yeah. Second of all, this story just never seems to go away. No, and there's, well, they, I, I think they probably propel that a little bit, right? I mean, they are still out there. Yeah. They out there. Um, she just started a podcast. But I mean, if it's your kid who I, gets murdered, you know, I get it. I get it, but what are you, you know who did it. She's, you know what she said on that show? She said that uh, she was in L.A. and saw him in a parking garage, and she was in her car. And she was like, it took, she goes, I, I honestly thought about driving oh over him God. and killing him in the garage. Oh, that would have been great. Did you imagine How that? How satisfying would that have been? I think I would have. If I was, I, 
So it was the you dad. You would have done it. I would have done it. Oh, yeah, easily. You would have done it. I would have killed the, the motherfucker easily. Absolutely. Yeah. So would I. So I, I was surprised when she said it's just at the last second she decided not to. But if, I think it was, if it was the dad, he would have done it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. 25 years. 25 years. I think because there's so much coverage in the, the TV show and all that stuff. And it, I think it still feels he, relevant and fresh for some reason. And the, the Oscar, remember they just won the Oscar for the documentary. What was that? Two years oh, ago. Yeah. So it and just keeps going on. It just keeps going on. And then he keeps putting himself out there, which makes them be like, uh, uh-uh, uh, buddy. Yeah. So if he would just shut the fuck up and go away, he's not going to, I think that they could maybe move on in some way, but he just keeps, he loves the limelight too much. And this is what we said a long time ago about Takashi six, nine, that rapper who's allegedly negotiating uh, a plea deal to go into witness protection okay, uh, for all those gang members and all that shit. He's facing life in, in prison. It's like, what are you going to tell that arrogant motherfucker to stay off social media? No way. Yeah. There's no way. Same with OJ. Like, dude, he probably could have gone away and just the world would have forgotten about him. But oh, but he, he can't keeps have popping that. up. No, he's at sports bars. He's partying. He got the word thrown out of the Cosmopolitan. So oh. it's uh, he's one of those guys that, I, dude, I don't think this is ever going to go away. And same with Takashi 69. When Mark he gets out, you. I give him less than a year before he's dropping an album and and people know where he is and all that shit and if that's the case i think he gets killed i think he gets pops pretty easily and then there you go yeah yeah uh look at us chatting away we got uh, we get sponsors james oh my gosh pay for this whole shit wagon to be on the air talking about ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros right off the gets right off the gets we got, we got, uh, actually, we got two bunk beds in here. Yes. And we're, we're getting mattresses for those guys. So I'm super stoked about it. Yep. Ghost bed, dude. Always coming through. Always coming through. And if you're out there uh, saying, hey, I need a little coming through. If you're a military or first responder, you get 15% off forever. Scroll to the bottom of the page at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros and get your mattress today. They got pillows. They got sheets. Right now, this month, they're giving away. They always give something away every month. Um, it's the free cover, man, that goes over its water resistance. Yep. In case things get weird. I'm not. Look, whatever fluid you're, well, you're our slanging neighbors, on there. Our neighbors just got new um, mattresses for their bunk beds for the kids. Yes. So that was like. Yeah. That was a, a necessity. So it was good that that was you the have extra to. for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we have uh, a bunk beds down at the, the other place for the kids. And, dude, I took the sheets off those. Good. It looks like a fucking Jackson Pollock painting underneath there. Happens. Juice, piss, you name it, is under there. Because little kids just <laughs> be the bed, you know? <laughs> Juice. Piss. Piss. You're just like a, it's like a mixture of you puke, know, puke, everything. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get a mattress, get the free cover. As always, they've got the 36 month, no interest, pay as you go program on a big ticket item like a mattress, man. That's amazing. Um, so good on them for doing it. I can't believe they still do it. And uh, they get a ton of deals up there for 4th of July and all that shit. So go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up, we got strikeforceenergy.com. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers, James. Boom, boom, boom. Plamo. Had it, had it yesterday. Uh, had it for Father's Day at the pool. Um, love it, man. Get, put, you put it in vodka. Really amp up your shit. Because uh, I, I, I don't like... I don't like buying energy drinks for fucking $3, $4 a can and then having to lug those around or whatever. Boom, pop a couple of these in your bathing suit and you're ready to go. You can pour yep. them into any liquid available. Last longer than five hours. Four amazing flavors. Orange, original, grape, and lemon. 10-pack, 40-pack, 750-milliliter bottle. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. They ship everywhere in the entire world. And type in the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. Zero carbs and sugars in these things, too. That was what I liked about the Seedwell shit. Yeah. No carbs and sugars, and it tasted good. A surprise. Really surprised. Really surprised with Strikeforce. Yeah. I heard Strikeforce was working on an energy bar. I don't know if that's true. 
Ooh, I think I saw that too. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to see. That would be rad. Yeah. Last but not least, this is what you came for. This is what everybody comes for, James. Straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Ooh. Ooh. Bring it home. Oh, you rock it. There it is, James. That's what the people needed. Mm. Straightrazors.com has everything you need to be a real man in this life. If you messed up on Father's Day and getting, didn't get your dad a kit, go get him one now. Yeah, if he still will talk to you. If, if he will. If he'll, if he'll still talk to you. Because I feel like go all the dads get out him there. A shaving kit, yeah. That didn't get that are probably, I mean, diso- I mean disowning. The probably is happening real beefed all, off. Yeah. That's what uh, we, we call it in the biz. Man, I was just so beefed. I was just so beefed off by it, dude. Right? I was just full of beef. Man, I was fucking beefing on everything, dude. It just really beefed me off. <laughs> man, I was so beefed up inside, man. I couldn't even beef <laughs> off. Ooh. Uh, go to straightrazors.com right now. They got everything you need. Um, shampoo, conditioner, all of it. Shaving cream, uh, beard oils, mustache waxes, everything. Straightrazors.com has got you covered. Promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. That's a big, big savings there. And uh, I want to talk about thank you, thank you for my service. It's the new book I wrote about my beef fry, Matt Best. Um, he's signing all of the copies up until uh, July 15th. Holy shit. That's a little bit. Yes. So really? If you pre-order. Yeah. Just talk to him today. That's crazy. <clears throat> I he like is, it. He is uh, signing all of the pre-ordered copies. So go to the website, thankyouformyservice.com. And uh, if you've already ordered, pre-ordered through Amazon or whatever, just enter in your, your info. And uh, because that way, some people who ordered the book before that deal was going on place or after, like this, this will guarantee your slot in there. And if you haven't gotten the pre-order yet, get it now. And that way, it'll be personally signed by Matt and just shipped to you. Go to thank you for my service dot com right now and and uh, sign up for the book. Matt is signing every single one of those. Good luck, Mister Best. That's awesome, though. It's awesome. But it's fucking awesome. Geez. Yeah, crazy, right? Crazy. Uh, what else is crazy here is uh, they finally found that Malaysian flight, James. You believe that? What? what the missing Malaysian I flight know, that was just gone for happened? like five years. Yeah. Where uh, is it? So they're saying. That they did this. I want to quote the exact article because this is like the most the Atlantic dot com. Um, I don't know what the Atlantic is, but they get super fucking detailed into their news articles, and it's like, all right, cool. It, it says it's a magazine, but uh, I, I think I vaguely remember this at my parents' house. I feel like this is a rich white magazine, you know, that you see it. Sounds like. like- I remember seeing this in my grandparents' house. Boats. Yeah. Lots of boats on there. Boats and latitudes. A lot of longitudes. Sperries. Sperries. Yes. A lot of latitude and longitude coordinates. Right. A lot of coordinates. Greenwich. Yeah. A lot of Greenwich. Little uh, cufflinks. Yep. Lots of cufflinks. Uh, Lots of row rows. Row yourselves. (laughs) Lots Uh, of leather pouches. I'll meet you on the... Man leather pouch. The Lido deck. Yep. Yep. The bow. Did you bring the charcuterie? Lots of bows. To the Lido deck. I'll take that charcuterie on the, on the Lido deck, please. Right. Uh, and my copy of the, the Atlantic. Lots of, lots of captain's hats and yeah. first mate. A lot of... Uh, Scarves. Uh, sea dogs out there, you know? <laughs> Labradoodle sea dogs out there. Well, Anywho. Yeah. Yep, in, uh, yep. <laughs> in the Atlantic... They're saying the guy was just, the, the pilot was depressed and just literally checked out of life, drove it straight into the ocean. But. Depressed. I don't just, really care how, uh, my thing is how it got lost, right? So, so from that high up. That can happen with anything. You'd still know where coordinates and like where it is. Allegedly. Like from that high up, if you're just going to drive it straight into the ocean like that, straight down. They don't know. They don't know that. I, I guess it, it shattered into like a gajillion pieces, okay. and they didn't know it until like some shit started washing up on shore in Australia. So, and how? Okay. Yeah. They found out that he was depressed. I mean, um, okay. 
The, well, look, there was investigations of going on from everyone already. Right. It's been going on for years. I guess the Malaysian police talked to him and, uh, you know, it's all fucked up. But that's I, like hearing this story and like truthfully, uh, all I needed was that one liner of like a depressed pilot. I know. I think about that every flight. I fly so much that I'm like, man, what's to stop this guy who's depressed? Because it's locked. The, the, you know, they lock the doors now. Yeah. From saying, fuck it, I'm just going to drive this straight into the ground. And there's, that's it. 227 people were on board this flight. Jesus. And like five kids or five or six kids. And it's like, and his last line was, he was just like, well, uh, I guess he was checking back in with the tower or whoever he mm -hmm. talks to. And he's just like, good night, everyone. You know, signing off for the night or maybe they're putting on autopilot or whatever the fuck goes yeah. on. I was flown just from Malaysia to wherever they were going but uh man that's my worst to. where you're just like what's to stop somebody you know at least bebo bebo russell the guy who uh took that alaskan airlines flight at least he did it with nobody on board nobody on like, board hey, man, yeah I'm and like myself but there is so many other people involved right so like there's an there's a co-pilot yeah there's always two Yep. So you'd both have to be down for the cause because the other one can just take over. Do you know what I mean? I, I guess, unless he just, I mean, it, it appears as if he just, uh, you know, the dude just did it and did it. Because like on those overseas flights that last, you know, a gajillion hours. Right. They just kind of. Isn't it like an 18 hour flight from here to like Australia or something mm -hmm. crazy like that? Yeah. So don't, I mean, obviously you can't stay up for 18 hours straight. Don't they put it on autopilot for and sleep? Like, or one of them? Yeah, takes or shifts? they take shifts. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's probably what he did, and then just hiked that, horked it right into the ocean. Fucking horked it. <laughs> I wanted it to be something bigger than this. Yeah, of course you do. You always do. You wanted it to be what? Aliens? No. Would you want I, it to be? I, I thought I like because it was a rumor at one point. I don't want to say I bought into it, but I entertained it of like, oh, that sounds like a fun thing. Of what? That he, he landed it on a private island. Uh-huh. And they were just living there, you know? All of the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, but that's... And you thought that? I thought that sounded fun. I didn't believe it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it sounded a lot Sounding funner fun than, and hey, being, yeah. I'm going to plunge this right into the ocean right, and right. just take my own life. So your little, your little, your little heart couldn't take, couldn't take the truth. I'm a big <laughs> fan of the TV show Lost. So you wanted that to be real. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, where it was just like, yeah. all right, cool. Maybe he fancied himself as a jack. And then I kind of was just playing around with the notion of like, well, you know, they get TV shows like 10 years later than us. Maybe they just got lost. And maybe he oh, fancied okay. himself as like a jack. Okay. You know, a Matthew, uh, what's Fox. his, Pumper Dick? Yeah, that's it. Matthew Fox. Yeah, what, what I, is it Pumper Dick? No. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's kind of where I was going with that in my mind, where I was just like, all right, man, that would be. That would be cool. But that didn't happen. Sure. Guy was just super depressed and just drove it right into the ocean. Um, right. So, man. Uh, either way, uh, it's sad. there was There's a lot of so many like there was a lot of like weird. Yeah, there was a lot of weird conspiracy theories and uh, they've all been shot down now at this point. So it's still I mean, the question does still remain no matter how it happened, how you lose a flight. So, you know, like when you're. You know, when you're in the plane and you can see the little video. Yeah. Of how far it's going yeah, and yeah, how yeah. far you have left. Mm -hmm. That's what they have at the tower most of the time. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So they know where you're at. They can see almost like GPS things like where you're at. Sure. So the question does still remain, how do you lose a plane? Yeah. And I think because you, I think of how connected up to we Malaysia. are. And that's the real answer, right? Yeah. Which no one really wants to uh, admit. Yeah. Because it's, let's face it, they're not on the up and up over there. No. No. I mean, it was what the one. They're not like the good kind of It was of the prime minister's Asians. son. You know, yeah. he uh, embezzled three billion over here and made all those movies. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know. Come on. Right. They, 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 they're not on the up and up, that whole no, culture, no, no, community. No, no, no. And so, again, 
It's like, okay, he was depressed. He plunged it down. And what and how did we lose it? Yeah. For this long? Who knows? I, I think that's a tough pill to swallow. Or maybe they didn't want to pay out the shit. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Who knows with that one? Uh, speaking of paying out shit, this Harvard story, man, What's- they're going to be paying out money uh, to this kid a lot. So that one of the Parkland shooting survivors um, was this kid who was pro-gun and he was uh, kind of conservative. Mm-hmm. And he gained quite a following online, uh, well-spoken and all that stuff. Right. Um, he was scheduled to go to Harvard uh, this fall. They just rescinded his acceptance um, today, and then he went to Twitter to talk about it. So they got a hold of some messages that mm-hmm. he used racial slurs two years ago. Mm-hmm. Now, he would have been 16 years old at this point, right? Right. And messages or whatever. And they said, look, uh, three months after, he, this was his statement, Kyle Kashuv is his name. Mm-hmm. Or Kashuv? K- Kyle Kashuv. Kashuv. Yeah. Uh, Harvard rescinded my acceptance three months after being admitted to the Harvard class of 2023. Harvard has decided to rescind my, my admission over texts and comments made nearly two years ago prior to the shooting. Um, I have some thoughts on why this happened. So he, he used the N word um, in a few places in messages. And uh, I'm not really sure how it resurfaced, you know, in a text or on social. Can't, I can't tell yet. Okay. Um, probably it could have been deleted. Right. Um, so oh, and they kind of found it somehow he, this was yeah, found. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so he made them privately. Let's see here. Uh, he, he made these comments privately years ago and then they were made public. So I, I guess, okay. I guess they weren't on Twitter. They were screenshotted. Oh, from a friend. Yes. That he then, texted. Yep. And turned Ooh. in. So 2019 he, folks is the thing, man. I know everything. Everyone's screenshotting. Everyone's, I mean, you cannot shit. really delete anything. So no, uh, those kind of things. And you know, you're 16, two years ago. Yes. You know that. Uh, not, not on text messages. Like you don't think so. I don't know. The, okay. But the point is, and this is what he said, right? And this is what a lot of people are saying. As a kid, at 16 years old. Sure. You're obviously going to make some mistakes. It is really fucking hard to navigate the social media world and not slip up with something. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying what he said was right, obviously. It's, it's awful. Right. Um, I don't know what the context was. Right. Or, or, or anything else through a text message. They're not showing what he actually said, so we don't get to. Right. Um, make a real judgment on that, but yeah, I, I, I well, I saw, I read part of it before it got nuked. Was okay. uh, N word jocks was he was saying mm-hmm. describing some other kids or athletes or whatever. Okay, um, again in a private setting, mm-hmm. <sighs> man, I, I don't know what the right answer is here. I know this: Harvard's going to get the shit suit out of them for this because yep. um, this kid is now saying, look. It's fine if you want to take back the scholarship. The problem is it's, it's the middle of June. It's right. supposed to start school next month. Right. So he had a bunch of scholarships and he chose Harvard. Those are all gone now. And he's going to have to try to figure out a way to get into another college now. But, mm-hmm. you know, most colleges are filled up. The admissions are done, man. Yeah. I mean, you know where you're going in, you know, usually February or, or March, yeah. your senior year. Um, so, whew. Here's here's another thing I'm just going to say. God. So in the grand the race racism grandfathering in, right? Uh-huh. A 16-year-old 2 years ago. You don't get to. Do you know what I mean? You don't get to even say it. So there's a certain age, right? So 70-year-olds right. at this point. What's the last frontier do you think? 60-year-olds? If they kind of say it, you're like all right, now you, you, welcome to the world, buddy. If they say some racist shit. Yeah, yeah. I, because of how they grew up, they would probably even not even say it. But in the grandfathering in, yeah, yeah, and yeah. the and the kind of trying to 
you know, they'll do transphobic things, stuff, stuff like this, right? Yeah, Gay, yeah, 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 yeah. homosexual, whatever you go. Hey, hey buddy, you know what I mean? Like, sure. don't do that. And they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sometimes I forget when I'm just talking to my friends. But if you are 18 right now, or again, 16. Yep. Uh, I think I'm not sure if you're in the, the, there's some kind of cutoff. You can't even really, if you are 21 right now, God, I mean, you, you can't, we all know you can't say it, right? Yes. If you are a 16 year old what right I, now, you know, for a fact, you cannot say it. Here, here, so here, here's my, my biggest problem with all of this, right? I, I dislike the fact that, and again, man, I don't, I don't think this kid's racist. You know, he's 16 years old at the no, time. No, he's saying what someone else said. You Probably, know what I mean? He's or like, yeah, yeah, yeah. just trying to impress somebody or totally, trying to be totally, funny totally. or make a, a joke or again, whatever it is. Again, I don't think he should not go because of this. Yeah. I'm just I, I don't either, saying. But as a 16 year old, we all said and did fucked up shit. Sure. Um, I don't it wasn't on I social said, media. I don't think I ever said those words. No, 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 not at all. Personally, so somehow I was able to not but, do but it. Look, but look, man, I mean, fuck doggy style and dre dr dre and all that yeah. shit was out and you know raging and it's like dude every other word is that right um if you're saying in a private setting and you're getting crushed for it publicly because somebody came out whatever you're saying privately by the way not just the yeah, n-word but like everything that. else I don't across like the that. board right if it was a tweet if it was out there then let's talk about it but you know so a private conversation because the same thing happened to Hulk Hogan, right? Yeah, and uh, yeah. he I mean, he sued and all that other shit. And like, man, when you're behind closed doors, everybody says fucked up shit to each other. Black people, white people, uh, all of it across the board. Totally. Man. So I can defend both sides. Like I could just be like, it was a private conversation. We don't even know if it was a joke between them, which it shouldn't. But listen, at 16, whatever. We don't know. So I can defend both sides and be like, he didn't put that out there publicly, so it should not be. Right. I, here's what I'm going to tell my kids, all right, and if this helps at home. I'm, I'm going to say at a certain age when they get their phones, hey, everything you write or post or take a picture of will be taken from you. It'll be stolen. It'll be screenshotted. It'll be out into the world. So... If you think you're having a private conversation, a private text message exchange, uh, photos going back and forth, um, they're not yours anymore and they're not going to stay private. They never will. And I think that's the conversation that every parent should probably be having with their child right now. Mm-hmm. We could probably tack, tack on to that conversation, that word. Shouldn't be probably said oh, uh, uh, even oh, in joking. A hundred percent, but that's already part of it. Like har- this kid was on the Harvard track. So, so here, here's the thing, right? It's not like Especially with ghetto. the with the N word, like, dude, that should have been taught years ago, and like you know better at that point or whatever, right? Uh, joking around or, or or whatever, like, fuck, man, that that's just a that's a no no in today's society, obviously. Yeah, and if you want to do greater things in your life than what you're doing right now. You cannot put out in writing, whether it's text or email or whatever, yeah. or in your phone, even photos, man, you like just can't. Bella Thorne, that Bella Thorne thing today, uh, with that chick, um, that she is. So she, you know, to, to stay in the same vein, she texted somebody, some, some nudes, some nudes, right? And uh, somebody hacked into her shit and said, we've got your fucking nudes. We want money or we're going to release them. Mm -hmm. She said, fuck you. I'll release them on Twitter for the world. And here they are. And did it and beat everybody to the punch and was just like, everybody was like, yeah, you're awesome and amazing. And it's like, dude, you can't get away with anything anymore whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Um, And she should know that. Picture wise or whatever. But again, like, dude, you're dating somebody or whatever. And Mm -hmm. uh, it was a private moment between the two of them, but her phone got hacked. So what are you going to do? Yeah. Um, Man, but but this kid, I can tell you what he's going to do because right now he's saying I'm exploring all my options. Right. He's going to sue the shit out of Harvard, obviously. Right. And then however they got a hold of these private text messages or whatever, like. Exactly. That's not. There's something going on there. Yeah. But 
So we'll see. Um, and again, if you're expecting 16 year old kids to be perfect or to not say and do fucking wild ass shit, like, and not be able to mature, grow and learn from it. Mm -hmm. That's another thing that I, I, I take issue with where it's just like, dude, we've all made mistakes in our life. This kid, you know, it has since put out some very thoughtful and I mean, he's actually helped people with, with his situation, situation mm -hmm, yeah, at, yeah, yeah. Uh, at Parkland and all that mm -hmm. shit. And it's like, man, yeah. To see him go down like this, that, that sucks, man. Um, but, uh, you know what he said is shitty. So I don't right. know. I don't know. Yeah. What are your thoughts on it? Jabes? I mean, yeah, it looks like they don't like him for a couple different reasons, right? He's conservative. Yes, and he's pro-gun. Pro-gun and held like a, a live stream like, supporting I would, I look, the Second Amendment while his classmates were doing a walkout. So, you know, I'm sure they don't like that. Somebody was gun gunning for this kid, no, no pun intended. Uh, exactly. But, uh, so they were, they looking were for searching. They were digging for oh, shit. Oh, for sure. For sure. So. But Man. again... If you're on the, here's another thing. If you're on the Harvard track, okay? Yeah. We're not little dinglings in the, <laughs> in the ghetto, right? Yeah. In the uh, Bakersfield, let's say. Yeah. Okay. We're on a Harvard track, track, Harvard track. <laughs> so guess what? Like you're held to a different sta standard. What I don't like is they're targeting him because he's conservative and pro-gun, which is exactly what they're doing. But on it the seems face like of it, it yeah. Buddy. Buddy. So you don't get to go to Harvard. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You do stuff like that. Probably won a few, a few million off of this. So. so he'll be good. Um, and of course, CNN puts up a picture with uh, him and Melania Trump uh -huh. having a one-on-one these days. Oh, yeah. So you know In they're the going They were waiting for that pic, just sitting on it. In the pocket. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, I want to give myself a pat on the back too for uh, some predictions I made last week about Men in Black bombing and all that shit. <laughs> to you, okay, man, man, that did that tank we're what? <laughs> we're always down. I need music we're for We're always it. down for you patting yourself on ah, the back. <laughs> let's face it, some, it only happens once a show. Somebody yeah. has to. <laughs> yep. Here's the here's the part in the show where. Ross pats himself on the back. Yeah, so they're like, sequelitis has struck Hollywood. No. <laughs> no, it hasn't, man. Sequelitis? No, it has not. Uh, sorry, but it really, really <laughs> has not. You just, nobody wanted to see that, man. No. no nobody one. wanted to see it. Like, you knew from the trailer views that nobody wanted to see it, right? They <sighs> had to have known. Because I shut, as soon as I saw the two of them on there, I shut down. 26 million. Twenty-six million dollars is all I that mean, thing made. That's not the worst. I've no, heard. it is. It, look for a blockbuster like that that okay. they spend, you know, one hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty right. million on. Oof, that's not even. That's not even uh, a third of your advertising budget for that movie. Oof. So it'll. That's on pace to just really sink and never come back. And they're making more, by the way. Like I want to. Of what. Of of all these sequels and fucking like they just finished shooting Bad Boys Three, but isn't it with? It's with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence, but I'm into that. Well, I'm down for that. I, I, and I may be, but how many years has it been at this point? Like they look great. They do look They're great. They're doing great. They are funnier than who else would you have? I don't know. You just want newer content. Yes. I wouldn't mind seeing the same people. I like reprising roles and movies. I don't like remaking them with different people. Right. That I won't, you know, so like the Bill and Ted thing I'm here for, right? It's Canal. Yeah. It's Snow. I'm not. You're not. No, I can't. I can't get you down to the like Bill and it. Ted thing. You didn't like Bill and Ted to begin with. I no? did, but I was a child. Yeah. I was a small boy. Probably just came over from <laughs> America. Probably young, a lot younger than you. When you saw it, um, and, you're a uh, small boy. Small boy. When I saw it, uh -huh. no need to bring those two guys mm. back now. Yes, please. Because here's the thing: Canal is super pimpy, right? I don't uh, want to yeah. see him be Ted again. Why not? Was he Bill he or was he Ted? People, that's what makes him so awesome. He gives the people what they want. Was he Bill? Always. Was he Bill or Ted? What? Bill Ted. He was Ted. Oh, he was. He was. He was Ted. Ted. I know you don't want to. 
No, I want to see him kill people. He was pimpy, and I'm I'm go- like I'm I'm down with the new canal. I don't want to revisit the '80s canal. <laughs> you know. Okay. Um, I'm good okay. on all, I'm good on all that. I don't need I don't. It's like I don't want to see another Wayne's World right now. Don't bring that out. No, either. no. All right. So I'm I'm done with. They with just all of seem that. excited about it, and it made me excited about it. I, I was. It may I think never I was happen. the only one who was not excited. No, it's. it's I happening. don't want a friends. They're reunion. shooting it. Uh, nope. No, thank you. We need to leave that. I'm f- yeah, I'm fine leaving that. We need to leave that. They're, they are... I'm fine with leaving that. The things that, you know, they would have to whore... It, it would just be a whoring out situation at yeah, that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Nobody... They don't want to do it. None of them want to do it. I... <sighs> Aniston, maybe it's tough. Well, no, I I, I don't know because there's been so much pressure. Every interview she does now is like, "Are you gonna come back and reboot Friends? Yeah. Are you gonna reboot Friends?" So I don't know. <sighs> I don't know what the uh, the verdict will ultimately be. I think they'll get back together and do something. I think there's too much money, right, to be had there. I said what last year that it was like I, maybe four or five months ago. I said give him give him a year, give him two years. Right. I still think that is true, but I don't, okay. I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, I think Aniston's pretty content. They're all. LeBlanc con- is content. Yes. I can see Matthew Perry wanting to come back though, that well. He's kind of, he sounds like the most interested. Well, all of them, I would say, I would say Schwimdog and I would say Matthew Perry were probably the ones that didn't come out of that. Roses. Roses, yeah. I mean, everybody they still else, have the money, so... Everybody else did. Like, LeBlanc did awesome shit. Like, yeah. Um, I really enjoy... I think he's on a TV show now, actually. I don't watch it, but... No. Um, I think he... Like, on episodes, he crushed, though. I love... Love him on episodes. Great, great show. Yeah. Um, let's see. Who else? Kudrow had that rad show, The Comeback. I know. Which... Oh, they're done with that. Yeah. Uh, but it was great. So good. And then Aniston's, you know, obviously the mega star out of that whole sitch. Yeah. She just did another Sandler Netflix, right? Or yeah. is it a... Yeah. It, are they going is. theater with it? No. Netflix doesn't do that type of shit. They'll say they are for like a weekend or whatever, but it's... But no, no. They're just going straight to Why Netflix. would you? Why, why am I going to pay for that in the theater? It's going to be on Netflix in a week. Because that's what it is now. Uh, it's yeah. like, oh, it's a week later. Great. Get <laughs> beefed. Ya. Get beefed. Get beefed off. I don't need it. Yep. Yeah. Beef off. We've got ombre. enough beef juice. Yeah. I got enough beef all over my skin. Cup. Yep. Yep. My beef have runneth over Netflix. <laughs> don't need it. Uh, Comcast is trying something interesting, though, today. Hmm. Uh, they're launching eye control for cable TV. So this one's, this one's getting real. I mean, we're starting to really get into the future now. What does that mean? There's a lot of people who have like, like they're physically disabled, right? Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they can't flip a remote or do shit. So they're doing some eye control tests where uh, you can just look at it either blink your eyes or go right to left and that, oh, that'll yeah, change the well, channel and all that other yeah, shit. Yeah, they have them for their like speaking apparatuses that they have or whatever. Yeah. That they can just look at letters and like spell stuff. So That's crazy, man. But it, it, here's the thing. If you can do that, because it says there's 48 million people that actually use this and need it, mm-hmm. you know? That makes um, sense. That, that have a physical or mo- mobility uh, disabilities, right? Mm-hmm. So... If you can do that, though, and you have the capability to do that, that's got to be next. What's got to be next? Everybody's going to want that thing. <laughs> We're already talking into remotes at home, and they don't yeah. even want us using other oh, shit, you know? That'd be crazy. I can't. That'd be crazy. If you just, told just me. Just the eyeballs? No. Uh-uh. If you would have told me that I'm going to be talking into my remote control to do all of my shit, I would have told you you were fucking crazy. And now that that's that's the only thing that I can do to record a goddamn, you know, thirty for thirty. Now that's is true. In, to it. in one of the rooms, in one of the rooms. Yeah, but that's um, real, and I've gotten used to it. Yeah, I've gotten used to talking to it. Where I'm like, all right, cool, this is what it is now. So, you know, the next thing is eye control, James. You want that eye control thing? Well, I almost wouldn't eye control be better 
than talking into it because it's like they can't listen to your eye control. No, they can't. But then they're inside your head, right? <laughs> no. How is it going to, what does it recognize your eyes on the screen? Something, yeah. So if it does, that means they're looking into your house. Oh. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I don't actually, we're not going to even claim <laughs> to even understand how this type of stuff might work. So Ooh. we're not even going to go there. And look, for the people with disabilities out there, this is amazing. Absolutely. So I'm not and they shitting should on this at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but they're going to be watching you, I whatever you do. I just don't want do. everyone to want this. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, if you're sitting at home trying to you know, break your beat off record, there's somebody back. You at, look at the wrong thing. At Comcast, yeah. And it's like, oh, uh, boy, uh, Hannah Montana. Yep. Boom, back to. You were on Hannah Montana, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When and you were like, doing your whoops, beat off thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then you accidentally switch to a porn because you know that's, that's gonna not happen, gonna right? do it yeah relatives come into the room and uh you know you you're, look at you're the wrong thing like, oh, and it goes to history oh oh <laughs> you start blanking and it's just all graphic hardcore pornography Stop it. that you're watching you're like oh no no i'm i'm yeah, sure again grandma i <laughs> the snickerdoodles are amazing i'm not i'm not i was never watching porn um, uh, uh, go back to Caesar Million, the dog whisperer. Uh, uh, <laughs> you start blanking harder at it and just trying right. to. Right. Uh, Again, we are not uh, sure how this uh, technology is going to work. I think I just laid clearly. it out for you. <laughs> so if you're out there and you're thinking about getting loose, I think we just got the answer. Yeah, blinking. <laughs> just blinking. Blinking and blinking and dinking. You yeah. know, just. <laughs> Oh, goo, 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 goo. go to the next thing. Blinking and dinking. Now, if you are a porn aficionado, right? And you're one of those that likes to peruse through 30, 40 Different. videos. Man, <laughs> you're going to, your mind's going to be like Tom Cruise and uh, M- Minority Report. Just swiping real All things fast. in front fast. of you, just, yeah. Stop That's it. what's going to happen, man. <laughs> Yeah, as you're just grunting, you know, just, uh, oh, yeah, no, we're back, forward, back, slash, back, oh, go back, go back. I need, I didn't need to see the twins. Now, now they're just the old man. Now the twins. Um, and then it's, you know, you end on the, the, new, the man, newer full house. The old man and the twins? Is this yeah. the por- different porns? Yeah, you're, yeah, oh, you're oh, ripping okay. through different porns. Okay, you're like, old oh. man, twins. Yeah, yeah. Twins. Parents. So having sex together yeah, versus yeah. old man breaks in a room. Right. You know, like right. that type of shit where yeah. you're just like, what? Yeah. What the fuck? And it's always going to, it's always going to end up on some incest porn. And that's what, that's what today's society is. So uh, doesn't it fucked. always land there? It's blinking. Ugh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. So Comcast, get on you. But sure. uh, I have a feeling you're going to have a lot of cases on your hands that probably won't go as imagined. Uh, a lot of bone cases. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm being realsies with you now. Um, and they're like, hey, we're pleased to tell you about this. And they've got a video with it um, that, that's going to show you how it's, it's, they're doing it. Um, Again, and, for people with disabilities, no. that all was just a, lo- just a bit of fun that Ross was having right there. No, not at all. Because here's the thing. If you have a disability, you still want to jack off, Right. We're saying they can't or don't have that right. Now they're going to have the best capabilities in the world. Again. To, to go through a, pornography. Not a scientist. We're not scientists. I, well, we yeah, don't yeah. know what kind of disability they have. I've taken some science classes. I feel pretty confident in everything that sure. I'm saying that comes out of my mouth. Science with. Yeah. <laughs> with Ross. <laughs> Dr. Ross. <laughs> Let's put on the lab coat, shall we? Hi, everybody. Um, yeah, I think I could walk people through scientifically how to do a lot of things. Okay, cool. Uh, I um, also want to give a quick update on the gator. Ooh, they're getting the gator. They're getting out the gator of the out pond. of our out of our place, right? Mm-hmm. There was a lot of strongly worded Facebook posts on the moms of bleep bleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we live, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, lots of just they're pissed. Yes. don't understand why we can't do something about this. About the gator. So what'd they do? They said he was 
aggressive. Well, I think one of the neighbors. And they put that on him, and he ain't. Yeah, he ain't aggressive. And they put that on him. Yeah, you don't put that on him. You don't put that on him. You put respect on his you name. Respect, you respect <laughs> on the gator's name. It was uh, Florence is what they named it after the, the hurricane where the, the alligator Florence came in. fine, you guys. Tiny, minding her own, yeah. his own. Four foot alligator. Um, but then, you know, you Cute. have to call. Apparently here and in parts of the south, like you have to call them. The gator's got to be aggressive. Right. Yes. So you have to, you can't just say, hey, we have a gator here. Uh, very illegal to do anything about it yourself. Yeah. Very illegal. Yes. And then, you know, there has to be reason for them to remove the gator. Otherwise, they'll just be like, well, just don't, you know, walk your tiny dog right into its mouth, which is what you'd have to do really with this yeah. one. Yeah. So, you know, just it's they're kind of like, just steer clear. And everyone's like, steer clear. What are they talking about? Our lives are in danger. Yeah. And there was there was a lot of phone calls. One lady called and said uh, the gator threw itself through my kitchen window and Mm -hmm. was eating. So they had to make up a lot of stories to get this. Eating all of my hot pockets out of Mm -hmm. my freezer. I woke up. Gator had crashed through the window and mm. was just eating all of the hot pockets and was real aggressive inside my kitchen. Right. Uh, another one said it. They found it in the dumpster, mm-hmm. uh, an eight foot an eight, eight foot tall dumpster, and it was just eating right out of the dumpster. Right. Uh, there was another neighbor who called in and said the gator took down my flag, my American flag. Right. And so, and for that. Yep. We will not stand. No, right? no. And, we, and, and uh, that, I think that that was the final straw that got mm-hmm. the, just getting the gator out of there. Mm-hmm. So because it's like you can't, you can just chill. But if you're unpatriotic, yeah, yeah, you've if, got to go. If you just want a gator and chill, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you're tearing down Again, American the, flags, the gator did not affect my life in any way, and I was not scared of him or think that anything was going to happen. But you know. I don't know, James. You do and you don't. Some people need a cause. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some people are bored and they need a cause, and the alligator was the cause. So good for you guys. You won. On to the next bit of drama that you want, because you want the gator there. You want the drama. Yeah, you do. You, you need do. it. For sure. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the week, shall we? We shall. I'm going to give this one out to Gloria Vanderbilt, who passed away this morning. Oh, she did. Oh. Ah, Anderson. Anderson Cooper's mom. Yeah, yeah. How's he doing? A lot of people forget that he was. A, he's a Vanderbilt. I don't. Yeah, he is a Vanderbilt. Well, you follow them every all the day. Time. He has never not been. Um, but poor, poor buddy. Yeah, I mean, it, they were very close. They were. Yes, yes. And he even did a special with her that we watched. Yes, he did. Um, a yeah, he made it. He actually did a documentary. She was ninety-five. Right. So like, you know, and he when he was making that documentary, it was very emotional because, he, you know, she was older. And so yeah. he was trying to, you know, memorex everything he could about her and talk to her uh, before he knew that she was going to go. So, yeah. Um, yeah, man. I, it's it's funny to me because the, the, the Vanderbilts were the last. Kind of. I don't like. American, you know, old school American families like the Fords and the Vanderbilts and the the Rockefellers. Like now, slowly, all this lineage is dying out, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, Anderson Cooper is a a dude on CNN, so. Right. He's not carrying it on in a very noble. No, he's not uh, building railroads or steam engines and tanks and things. Like he's not doing anything. Sure, changing the world. Yeah, I mean, look, the Trumps kind of reinvented that whole scene back in the 80s with all the hotels mm-hmm. and all the other shit but like mm-hmm. uh as far as like powerful american families go you know once the kennedys kick out it's kind of the end of it yeah which is party uh, probably part of the fascination with uh chris pratt marrying yeah. a homegirl i mean that's that's some noble you're lineage. Still, you're still a Kennedy over on that side. That's like our royalty still. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even if you're low tier. Yeah, yeah. You're definitely, you're in the, in the castle. Um, but she did a ton of stuff, man. I mean, Jesus, dude. Jeans. Jeans. Paintings. <laughs> Jeans come to mind because she was like the first person to. 
crazy, right? Make it okay for ladies, ladies to, wear to wear jeans. Ladies to wear jeans. Jeans. Lady jeans. Lady jeans for you and me. Lady jeans for you and me. Lady jeans for you and me. Jables. Yes. This was fun. Yes. Thank you for Father's Day and everything you, you did for me. I felt like a little tiny king, but now we're back. We're back on the air. Thank you. We're doing it. You're welcome. For being awesome. Nah, I got it. I got you on this one. You Thanks. don't even have to say it. Couldn't really find For the word. For Jesse, no, nah, you did. You didn't, you didn't. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.